Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. Can you believe it? It is 2020 already. Where did last year go? I actually honestly don't know. But I thought I would kickstart the new year off with a skincare video. I know a lot of you guys always ask for them and I haven't done one in the last like I didn't even do one last year, so it's been a while. And today I specifically wanted to share with you my go-to beauty devices that I've collected over the years and that I've incorporated into my skincare routine. And um, these devices I feel have really benefited my skin. Um, and it's funny because when I was younger, I didn't really ever invest as much into my skincare as what I do now. I would spend a chunk of my pay on makeup, you know, because makeup's fun, you get an instant transformation, but when it comes to skincare, it's a slow progress. And so you don't really see products working. Um, I don't feel like, you know, skincare is necessarily as sexy as makeup because you don't see that transformation. But funny enough, the older that I get, the more that I invest my uh, money into skincare as opposed to makeup. I don't know if it's the same with any of you guys. Let me know if that's the case with you. Today I wanted to just share one, two, three, four, five, five, six, six um, devices that I have in my skincare routine and yeah, let's just get started. The first beauty tool that I use is this Luna 3. It's a cleansing tool with these little silicone brushes that aren't porous so they don't attract like dirt and bacteria. It doesn't trap any of those germs in there. So it's super hygienic. For those of you who don't know how this works, it actually like vibrates really quickly. So when you actually use it across your face, um, it kind of dislodges and shakes up all the dirt in your pores and helps to like decongest and cleanse your face, making it squeaky clean. So how I use this is I pop a bit of my cleanser onto the bristle part and then with a wet face I just massage the cleanser on using the Foreo. Now when cleansing your face you got to do it for at least one minute for your cleanser to be actually effective and so what's really good about this device is that it's already timed at one minute so after one minute it will stop so you know that you're done with cleansing your face. When I'm done cleansing I like to turn the device over and it has these little grooves this is the massaging side and I do this on days where I feel like I'm a little bit puffier. With the cleanser still on my face, I like to run this massaging part across my face, just sweeping it upwards and out. This is actually going to help improve my circulation and depuff my face. Then when I'm done, I just rinse my face and I can wash the device. It's waterproof, so you can actually like wash your face in the shower if you wish. I love this device so much that I have a little mini one that I travel with. At first I thought it was kind of like gimmicky, but then my skin actually feels a lot smoother afterwards. So I'm a big fan of these. The next device I want to talk to you guys about is my Sonic Skin Scrubber. I think I got this online at YesStyle. Um, I'll have to find the link and leave it for you guys below, but if you haven't seen like other beauty YouTubers use this, this is like um, an exfoliating tool or a cleansing tool. It's also known as a skin spatula. So again, with this, it vibrates really, really quickly and helps to dislodge any of like your clogged pores and dirt and debris. You can actually extract some blackheads and whiteheads with this. When using this, you need a wet face because the water on your skin is actually going to help dislodge all the debris in your pores. So you wanna make sure you have a wet face and um, it's actually gonna help the device glide and slide um, around your face a lot better. So it's not gonna tug and pull. So I'm just gonna spray on a little bit of like a water spray. Um, obviously when I'm doing this in the bathroom, I just wet my face. So just have a wet face. I'll turn it on. How come nothing's turning on today? I feel like I've charged everything. Why? Why is nothing working for me today? Hold up. Okay, I had to quickly charge it for a little bit. Hopefully it will be enough charge for this demo. Okay, so I just turn it on and I pop it to the peeling lifting mode. So it makes this like scary noise, but it doesn't hurt at all. So you want to just hold it at an angle and then just like glide it along your skin. I find that the slower you go, the more effective it is. And it actually, you could actually see that it shoots the water upwards. So it shakes it so fast that it just kind of like dislodges everything. Around my chin, I have a lot of congestion. So I love using this tool because it helps to just like get rid of any of those whiteheads. Also around my nose as well, it works really well to dislodge any of the whiteheads and blackheads. 
For me, I like to use the corners of the spatula to get into those little areas around my nose. And this is all the gunk that the spatula has collected. You can see it on um, the end there. So I'll use this device once a week for the exfoliation. And then I'll pop my serum on after I exfoliate. And then I'll just like massage or like kind of just glide this side along um, my skin to help my product absorb a lot better into the skin um, so there's two functions to this but mainly i use this for um, the exfoliation mode the third beauty tool i want to talk to you guys about is my cooling face roller um, this was actually used on me when i went for a laser treatment after i got laser um, the therapist was like using this uh, along my face just to cool my face down and I really liked it and so I got one I found it online somewhere I have to link um, everything for you guys below this one I just literally stick in the freezer and when I'm feeling a little bit puffy or if I have a little bit of inflammation or sensitive areas I just take this out I'll wash it I'll clean it and it's still cold and what I do is I just roll it along my face oh my god it feels so nice uh. It's so good, especially for those days where you're just feeling like a lot like puffier than usual. Also, if you have like sunburnt areas, um, you can use this on the, your body as well because it's quite big. Now, I don't use this every day. It's just for those days where I just feel like, you know, I could use a little bit of like a cool hit, you know? Especially whenever I have like puffy eyes, I just like place it over those areas. I used to use like two spoons, like I'll pop them in the freezer so it's really cold and I'll just place it on my eyes. But now I just use this baby. The next thing I want to talk to you about is the Derma Roller or Skin Needling Tool. This has been around for many years, it's not like a new thing. There's like lots of little tiny needles on the end of this that you roll across your skin. It creates micro trauma that makes your skin actually produce more collagen and actually heal faster. Plus it helps um, product penetrate deeper into your skin. It sounds a little bit scary, um, if you guys haven't used like a skin needling or a Derma Roller before, there's like sizes or like lengths for the needles um, and obviously there's like I think like 0.2, 0.3 and it goes up to maybe like one, one and a half. The higher you go, the longer the needle is, the deeper it goes into your skin and it is a little bit more painful. But the one that I have here is I think 0.50 mm I believe. Yes. So for me, I like to use this um, to get rid of like acne scars, um, any like fine lines and wrinkles, this will help. And so here I have this area that I've been trying to get rid of. So I've actually needled it maybe twice already. You just want to like run it across your skin like that. So I just go in different directions. So first I just go upwards and then I would turn it and go sideways to create like a cross pattern. And then after, I would just go like diagonally across those areas. Now you can do this um, for the, your entire face as well. So if I'm doing it, I'll just like work on like small areas first. With this, it doesn't really hurt that much unless you get the, the longer needles. Um, so with this head, it has 600 um, little needles on it. There's different sizes that you can get depending on the area you're working with. Um, but my tip is to not really press it into your skin. You just like want to let it glide and you don't want it like to kind of tug and pull because that can actually like tear your skin. So you want to be really gentle with this and you don't want to be going back and forth too much because that's actually going to create a lot more trauma and then yeah, you can easily rip and tear your skin like that. So just be gentle and you could do this, like maybe start off like every couple of days or depending on your skin condition what you're trying to treat really um but for me yeah i generally take this out when i feel like i've got some marks that i want to like make fade quicker um if i have any fine lines that i feel like oh that one's coming up or that's more visible because i'm starting to get these like smile lines usually i'll work it around those areas you can also do this across your lips as well to stimulate collagen and then afterwards i would go in with my serum and skincare because with the little like micro trauma this actually helps product penetrate a lot deep into your skin um, for like spots I like to use products with vitamin C in it because that actually helps to lighten up the marks so you can either pop it all over your face or you know I'll just pop it on the areas that I want to to lighten 
Next up, I have my gold massage bar. Um, with this, it's like a massage tool. So it's kind of like instead of using your fingers to massage, this one vibrates. And so I just like turn it on and off by twisting it. And it actually vibrates really, really quickly, sends little pulses. And with this, I like to use it when I have like a face oil on. That's going to create a little bit of slip so I can actually get in there and massage my face. So this one is um, the rose hip one from The Ordinary. Usually I do this at night time because that's when I use my face oils during the day. Like it's just, I'm, I'm already too oily. So I like to just use this at night and I'll just like run it along my jawline and then like down my neck. This is kind of like a little bit of like a lymphatic drainage massage. If you guys didn't know, like your lymphatic system, it actually helps to move like the, um, the fluids around your body to eliminate toxins. And sometimes when you wake up and you're feeling a little bit puffier or you can feel like little bumps in your skin, sometimes it's your lymph nodes that are blocked or it just needs a little bit of like massage to help get everything going. And so I like to just do this once once in a while just to help um, to you know get everything flowing nicely and the trick is you kind of just want to like go out towards your temple or for your jaw part you want to go out and then like down because that's where your lymph nodes like flush out to so you want to just guide those fluids in that direction for me when I sleep I tend to like lock my jaw and grind my teeth so then sometimes I wake up with really sore jaw muscles so I like to just like really work it into those areas. Do this maybe like five times on each area and then move on. And then I'll go in with my fingers and just like work the rest of the face oil in. Lastly, I want to talk about face massage rollers. Um, I've got three here. I've got a jade roller, which I'm sure you guys have seen. And I'm sure you've seen something similar to these ones. These are like these ball face massages they have these like little massage balls at the end that like rotate honestly with these ones i don't use them as much anymore only because i feel like my other devices sort of um, can do the same thing in terms of massage and, and lymphatic drainage but i thought i would show you guys these anyway because a lot of these are more inexpensive than the electronic ones so let's start off with like these two, the, the ball face massages. These um, do similar things, except that they're just different sizes, so for different areas. Um, so for the mini ones, I, I think it's really good to just like go in between um, your eyes just to massage this area here, this pressure point. Um, I also like to use it along my brow and then along my eye area and temples. So this again is just more of like a self pampering tool and you can also use it as a um, like more for lymphatic drainage so to depuff as well um, and just to stimulate your muscles and circulation it feels really nice especially like on days where I've like was sleeping and I had a bad dream and I was clenching my teeth and my jaw was really sore this just helps to really um, relax the muscle there for this one you can do the same thing again with the jaw it's just like a bigger area that you're kind of working with it's just tugging more up here um, and then what I really like this for is like around my neck just up here oh my god it feels so good I like to just roll this and just stimulate the the blood circulation just on my neck Ugh. especially if like you're sitting down all day, if you're looking at your phone all the time, and you have all that tension in your neck. This bigger one is really good for the body. And yeah, they make actual like bigger ones that you can use in your arms and whatnot. So that's really cool. And then um, the good old Jade Roller. Now these are all over social media. I feel like everyone's selling their version of them now, but they all pretty much do the same thing. So with this, again, it, you can use it for lymphatic drainage. It's cooling. And sometimes if I want like, um, a more cooling effect I'll just stick in the fridge or the freezer um, and yeah when I use this I just roll it again you always want to kind of like go upwards and outwards you don't want to like tug your skin down 
So those are the beauty devices and tools that I use in my skincare routine. I don't use all of them every time I wash my face or do my skincare. Um, I kind of pick and choose each one accordingly, depending on how my skin feels, except for the Foreo, I use this daily to cleanse my skin. Also, I want to mention that when it comes to facial massage, don't feel like you need to go out and get all these tools um, to do that on yourself because you can also use your fingers um, for lymphatic drainage to help build up circulation and um, to help lift and stimulate your muscles. There's loads of videos online and different techniques um, on how to use your hands to achieve that. So don't feel like you need to go out and invest all this money immediately just to have like the best skincare routine. Start off slow because baby steps are what works. Um, with my collection, I've built it up over time and honestly when I was younger, I didn't actually you know, think about my skincare routine this much but as you get older, you realize that yeah, I think I should be like taking care of my skin better um, and so that's my collection. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do like a skincare product, so like more like ingredients and products that I use um, as opposed to just tools because it's good to have the right tools, but also if you combine it with the correct products for your skin, that is the key to having amazing skin. So let me know if you guys want to see that. Also, feel free to share what's your go-to beauty devices because you know me, I am a skincare junkie. I love trying new products. So let me know if you have any recommendations. And yeah, that is it from me. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye.